So, Mike and I just watched True Romance from 1993, starring Christian Slater, Trisha Arquette, and not really starring anyone else. It was Bronson just Pinchot, Chris Penn. Yeah, but they weren't really starring in it the way they were. No, Michael Rappaport. But they were the main stars. Yeah, Al Christopher Walken and uh, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper, James Gandolfini. James Gandolfini, yes. Val Kilmer, but you don't see Val Kilmer's face. Val Kilmer, yes. Uh, it was a star-studded cast. Even people that we don't even mention are in it that, that you recognize. It's one of those movies where you watch like, oh, I know him from something, you know? Crime drama. It was a crime drama. Right, 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 right. Uh, it was so. Good. Uh, like yeah, and it was also written by... True Romance. Written by Quentin Tarantino. And just to give a, not directed by him. And just to give a, uh, a synopsis of how I felt about the movie originally, uh, uh, True Romance, when you hear a movie like that, I'm not into, like, rom-coms and romantic kind of movies that are, are really, like, gushy-gushy. So when I hear True Romance, like, oh, you gotta watch True Romance. Like, ah. Which is also why you have to see a preview of a new uh, That's movie. true, but, you know, I, I don't like previews, but... You don't like previews. Previews are what you I, I make read people what they're about. But it's better previews for me. are what make, especially in the 90s, Mike, this movie came out in the 90s. I read, well, before, well right, 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 but... Uh, you hear True Romance, you think, oh, it's gonna be like a girly flick. Imagine taking a girl to, on a first date to a movie like this. <laughs> well, yeah, it depends on... You, you'll have to find out about the... It's a violent, violent-ass movie. Written by Quentin Tarantino. And it's a really, really violent movie. <laughs> but you would never think it, though. Watching the first few minutes, you're like, okay, this is a love story about a guy you know, goes to the movie theater and meets a woman who loves him and then they fall in love and get married pretty much the day after, right? But there's something before that that... There's something before that when right, the right. Mary is that he's basically a loner who's striking out who loves karate at bars movies. and stuff. But you know, the opening scene, he strikes out at a bar, runs a comic book store. But the girl, Patricia Arquette, comes into the movie theater spilling popcorn all over him and is like, oh, 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 and then like you know, acting like like she just met him. Yeah, they fall in love. Come to realize, and not to well, get too much away, we just give you the beginning because it doesn't well, matter. She also tells him that he's that that she didn't just come there and met him. She, Randomly, she come right? There. She she was she was hired to to meet. She's him. a call girl, right? She's right. a call girl, right? That was said there by his boss at the comic book shop, right? Right, and uh, it just pretty much takes off from there. I mean, I don't know what to say about this movie, True Romance. Uh, you mean, know what to say about it. We just watched it. We we. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean, I I don't want to. I mean, I. I I'm sure there's a lot it's of It's a crazy movie. I'm sure there's a lot of people haven't seen this movie yet. Because this is not really a popular popular. I mean, some people have seen it, you know. It seems like it was more popular in the 90s than it is. Well, right now you don't hear anything about no. it. No. Right, it's not like a Scarface. No, but Indiana I heard Jones. a lot about this movie in the 90s. But it doesn't get to play like old school no. movies would. No, it like doesn't. Star Wars, Indiana it Jones, doesn't. any movies like that. From it the, does, despite it even being a Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino involved yeah. in it. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And who directed it? Uh, Tony Scott. Tony Scott. It has a lot of actors in it and actresses that, like, you, you watch the movie, like, oh, I know her from this, I know him from this. And anybody who, first of all, anybody who's a Christian Slater fan probably seen this movie. But this is also kind of like the winding down of his mainstream um, acting. Oh, this was at the the the, the, the the back nine of his career. Kind of. Yeah, what did he really do past 1993? I don't, I don't know. Out? I mean, he did the Boiling Point, which, what was the Boiling Point? Boiling or? Point. No, what was it called? Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow, yes, with uh, with uh, John Travolta, yes, yes. I keep saying Boiling Point. <laughs> Who was Boiling Point? That was the Ben Affleck, right? <laughs> Boiler Room? I don't remember. I'm mixing up the whatever. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> See, this is why I bring up. The thing to talk about, so you could stop. Sound oh, I would still, I would still. That's why I'm. I'm look, I'm derail. Look, I'm derail. For, for I'm derail for a reason. You know, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about most of the times. Anyway, he decides they get married. 
She got married like a boy. She said, there. She tells him about her pimp and her, oh, Jesus Christ, who plays her pimp. And right? she's only been a prostitute for four, four days and two dates. He was the second date. And who's her pimp? Gary Oldman. Holy shit. Gary Oldman, yes. And yeah, yeah, I can't even tell you if you've ever seen this movie how Gary Oldman is. Insane. Like, yeah, insane. You remember him from such movies as Fifth Element or Batman. From such movies as? <laughs> but he's really good in this movie. Uh, really, really good. And the movie is just insane. Well, there's a lot of murder. But one thing about the movie, though, it, it's just from start to finish, it's interesting. Like, there's no dull points. Even the, Quentin Tarantino's... No, there really is no dull points. Quentin Tarantino's movies have a lot of dialogue, but this really... And he does bog down a lot. Well, also, Stop, notice, but the dialogue is great. Notice he didn't direct this movie, though. He didn't direct this movie. Yeah, they might have cut some dialogue part that he'd written out in it, but they, they really cut it down nicely. I mean, they did a good job with it. I, I, I liked the uh, uh, True Romance. I really did. I mean, it, it's a true romantic movie. It's truly romantic. I mean, so mm -hmm. they visit his father after a massacre ensues after they get married, and his father is played by Dennis Hopper. Yep, Dennis, Dennis Hopper. Hopper, another another maniac in movies. Yes, uh, he actually played a good guy in this one. It wasn't like the speed Dennis Hopper. Oh, it was oh, the one world. Dennis Hopper. Yeah, yeah. This is a true romance, Dennis Hopper. But Chris... or Super Mario Brothers, uh, Dennis Hopper. He wasn't playing the King Koopa bad guy. And you said that Dennis Hopper played a good father to Christian Slater because they. Well, the casting. Him. Yeah. They had the same like di uh, dialect or uh, what no, the way they deliver. The way they deliver you know, them. Yeah. The, the line delivery. It was the same. Well, first of all, that's an epic scene between... Uh, Him and Christopher Walken. Christopher, yeah, Christopher Walken, Walken yes. is in this movie, too. Amazing. Yes, Christopher Walken Amazing movie. scene. We're not going to get into the scene between them, too, because... I don't know if we should get into any more of the details of it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's just so much that people need to watch. If you haven't seen it, even if you're, like, 20 years old to 30 years old and never heard of it, you, you've really got to watch it. I mean, it's a crazy movie. I mean, it's a romance at its finest. I mean, uh, yeah, it's romance at its finest. I mean, it's crazy. I guess when you think about the consequences of what happens in the movie, like what they both go through. I can tell you, if I ever met a girl and got with her, I wouldn't do the things that he did for her. I No matter what, I don't care how much I'm in love with her. James Gandolfini is in this too, and there's like a five minute scene of him beating the shit out of Patricia Arquette. Kiss the, kiss the shit Not out of Patricia her. Patricia Arquette. Yeah, Patricia Arquette. Whoops. You, I almost said Rosanna Arquette. I probably Whoops. would have. <laughs> well, you remember he beats the shit out of him. He's he ain't no, he destroys him. He destroys him. And then, then Michael Rappaport wants to know how she got her injuries, but it was a basketball. He's playing injury. basketball. No, it's a great movie. I mean, there's so many things involved in it uh, that he, remember, you know, like I mean, the acting was great all the way around. I mean, Bronson Pinchot, Balky, Balky. Goddamn Balky. Well, pretty much is the Balky reason. from Perfect Strangers. Balky from Perfect Strangers is in this movie. Well, people are going to be like, what an asshole when they watch this movie because he does some stupid shit. Uh, Chris Penn and Tom Sizemore. Well, Chris Penn and Tom Sizemore, they're the cops at the end of the movie. First of all, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer is in this movie, right? He's one of the highest billed... I'm looking at him right now at the list of the highest billed people. Val Kilmer is His name was like second in the credits four, in the beginning, which is right here the list I'm looking at, he's four, right? Val Kilmer is in the movie twice. Yeah, twice. And you really see his face at and all. And you don't see his face it's at like all. It's like a dramatization. You don't see his face at all. Like when you see a uh uh Dog Side of the Ring dramatization. And what is he in the movie? Elvis. He's Elvis. Christian Slater's conscience. As yes, Elvis. I guess it's conscience. Yeah, Christian Slater loves but Elvis. As, but as Elvis. Well, Christian Slater loves Elvis. He even, it looks like Elvis a little bit, Christian Slater, in the movie. Come to think about it, didn't really pick up on that. When he was, at the end, when he was, the way he was dressing at the end, yeah. But his glasses very, he would wear, too. Yeah, like he was Elvis very Elvis-ish. Yeah, he was Elvis-ish. <laughs> right, he loves Elvis. But, like, so does this mean that Christian Slater is uh, some sort of schizophrenic? 
some sort of well they never explain it but he you has some sort of dual personality there's some kind of psychosis in there yeah dual he, personality something yes some, he talks to imaginary people and he guides them like he talked to elvis before he walked into that drug deal with gary oldman and that was the reason why if he did elvis it. if if you go into a bathroom i guess he's trying to say he's a little crazy elvis as your conscience is trying to tell you to kill pimps yes yes like you'd say you have some psycho somatic of whatever yeah his mind. name was clarence what's the pimp's name clarence Cla Whirly. Cla oh no and yeah and uh alabama Whirly was uh alabama yeah it was alabama uh, his wife that he married the day after he yeah. met her and but, but, uh, uh, um, who are you saying her pimp it was drexel drexel yes yes was played by Gary Oldman. Excellent. Gary Oldman. One of the best, one of the yeah, best yeah, characters I've ever Gary seen him play. I mean, he, had Oldman. he has some kind of accent yeah. and everything, which I don't even know what accent that was, but <laughs> it was it was some kind of weird accent. It was great. I mean, yeah, this was an all-star cast. I mean, it this, was an all-star cast even the, before they were all stars. Right, before they were stars. That's what it was. Samuel Jackson. They, they go on that? a cross-country trip. They grow up, go on a cross-country trip with a bunch of s accidentally stolen cocaine. To it it up was kind of accidentally stolen. Right, because he thought he was just taking Alabama Whirly's uh, possessions originally. And they end up going to California to basically try and sell... To flog it. A uh, 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 whole... Hock it. It wasn't even a suitcase. It wasn't like a million three or something like that. It Jesus Christ. Tried to sell for like 200000 or something like that. He just wanted to get the money. It was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, drugs in that suitcase. But you had seen this movie before. And you I didn't seen remember it a lot of this when we were just watching. Watch yeah, you didn't remember anything we were just watching from this. Yeah, I don't remember. I, 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 dude, I watched Star Wars again earlier. And I didn't remember anything. Right. I, 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 I was on Star Wars. I know, man. I was talking about the latest one, not the original. I know, the man. One. I know, and sometimes it makes these conversations very difficult. Yes, I'm very difficult to deal with when it comes to that. Yeah, I know, it is ridiculous. But uh, I gotta tell you though, I love the movie now again, doing the rewatch as much as I loved it when I originally For watched it. For me, it still holds up. Oh, I think it was ahead of its time, like a Scarface type movie. I think that people watch it now, they'd be like, oh my God, this movie was made in 92. Again, 92. It did have certain parts that I thought was like, oh, this is pretty dumb. But Just Right, that one plot with uh, James Gandolfini, where he, you know, when she had the, uh, the, uh, court the uh, Swiss Army knife or whatever, him. but yes, yeah. Yeah, the court yeah court but there was very few corny parts in it. it. It was pretty much action-packed the whole way through. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, it was violent as hell. And by violent as hell, bloody as hell, and a lot of romance. There was a lot of, there was a lot of, yeah, a lot of romance. Yeah, a lot of romance between two people. I guess that's why it's true romance, because there's only romance between... Who do you think was the biggest unseen star in it? Like Brad Pitt? Obviously it was Brad Pitt. You got to be Brad Pitt, right? Brad Pitt, Pitt. Brad Pitt lays on the couch throughout the whole movie. And pretty much is the reason smokes why they get And gives up vital information as to the whereabouts. Yeah, two times. <laughs> two times he gives it up. It really was amazing, but yeah, he was a good stoner, and he was uh, smoking out of that, like the honey, uh, the honey. Thing. Oh yeah, the it the, was like a empty honey jar of a bear, yeah, right? A bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was good in this role. Uh, a lot of people died, to say the least. A lot of people died. Yeah, it was amazing. I'm not gonna tell you who lived or died, but a lot of uh, people died in this movie. Yeah, it was uh, it was really insane. <laughs> I give it, look, if you have to give it five stars, I give it five stars. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it at all. I mean, it, it was great. I mean, the cast, I mean, everything was great about it. Uh, that guy Saul, who played the movie producer. Do you think producer. Val Kilmer had some sort of, um, like, squabble with the directors, like... And then he decided to not show his face? Do you think? <laughs> I don't know. You think there was some sort of, uh... And there was, like... Because he's in the credits. Usually when someone's in something like that, they'll be uncredited. Usually when there's a role like that, they'll be uncredited. They won't be fourth in the freaking opening credits. And fourth is good for, for the part that he played, because he really didn't do anything in the movie. No, he didn't. Except play the conscience of... Exactly. Christian Slater's conscience, basically, yes. 
But it wasn't really a conscience if the conscience is just telling you to do one thing, right? I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite Christian Slater movies of all time. I mean, you know, not that I like many Christian Slater movies. The Legend of Billy Jean was a dope movie. I think you were talking about that earlier. The Legend of Billy Jean, yeah. But, but I. Uh, let's do a quick video. Just talking about this. Without, without spoiling it, right? What we're trying to spoil, we're not gonna spoil the ending or anything like that. We're just giving you a synopsis. But uh, I highly recommend the movie. 1993, True Romance. Written by Quentin Tarantino. Written by Quentin Tarantino. Starring Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette and a bunch of other people who are just there for five minutes, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, a lot of people didn't last A time. lot of well-known people that are there for like five minutes total screen time. But it's a roller coaster ride. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it goes up and down. It, it's insane. And, and, let me tell you in what fact, I heard. there is a roller coaster in the movie. <laughs> right, right. I right. actually <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> That's when they do their little deal there. There's a literal uh, roller coaster in the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a fabulous movie. True Romance is a great movie. And it has, it has everything. I mean, it really <laughs> does. Comedy, drama, killing, thriller, horror. It's great. And... Romance. And romance. You forgot romance. And true romance. Bro. Not just regular true romance, true romance. romance. And she looks great, you know, you know, now she looks great in this movie. Uh, was this the same Arquette that was in the, uh, the other Quentin Tarantino movie, Pulp Fiction? Where she was, no, no, that was her sister. Rosanna that was her sister, well, okay, Rosanna Arquette. The one I almost made the mistake naming before, yeah. Right, right, right. This is Patricia. I think she was in a show, Medium, or maybe that was her sister, but uh, yeah, they had a show. But uh, yeah, she looked great in it. And Dennis Hopper, and uh, they all did a great job. Great movie. I, I, I mean, five stars. Or, yeah. Even a movie that from uh, 1992. You don't have to say five stars over and over again. I have to, I have to emphasize it. So, I give it. I Two give thumbs it up. Let's go neighbor here. Sometimes we'll review, review movies where I'll do this, but. R.I.P. <laughs> have a good one, everyone.